for um, my master's in nursing administration at UTA. And um, it's a book review over the book House of Leisure by Kit Pike Palma and Donald Christian. And um, I want to start by asking you a question. Um, what would you feel like or how would you feel if you had a chance to sit at the foot of your hero? And it was in the last days of their life and they were able to tell you their passions and their wisdom. Um, well, that's what Tom had a chance to do because his teacher, hero, mentor, role model, and friend was his grandfather, Donald Christian. And when diagnosed with terminal cancer, Tom asked, uh, Donald asked Tom to help him write this book. He spent countless hours going over the research and, um, and statistics and case studies um, that he had collected over 50 years of research and compiled them in a short, simple way um, to reach the largest audience. Don died in 2003, about two weeks after the final manuscript of this book was completed. And here you can see a picture of Tom with his grandfather. Together, as well as individually, they have impacted millions of lives and thousands of organizations across the country with their books and as practice leaders in the Gallup organization. Don's theory is very simple. Basically, everyone has an invisible bucket. And we're at our best when that bucket is overflowing. We're at our worst when it's empty. Everybody also has a dipper, an invisible dipper. And in our interactions with each other, we can either use that dipper to fill people's buckets or take from their buckets. When we use that dipper to fill other people's buckets, we also fill our own. We experience approximately 20,000 opportunities individual moments each day to practice this theory. The spark that um, changed Don's life forever was a specific case and of about a thousand POWs in the Korean War that were in, in uh, prison camps there. Uh, the relentless negativity in those, in those camps resulted in a 38% um, mortality or death rate with those POWs and it was the largest um, in U.S. military history. So what happened to these soldiers? Because they had food, shelter, and water, and very little um, physical torture, um, the Koreans basically had identified a new disease or a new weapon, and it was hopelessness. And so Don began, this story is very compelling, they go into details about it in the book, and I encourage you to get it to read it, but um, basically Don and his colleagues began to ask this question. Could positivity, rather than um, positively Positivity had an even stronger impact than negativity did with these soldiers. And the result was 50 years of research and millions of interviews that looked at this topic. The, um, basically, Don's focus on what is right was the foundation of strength psychology today. And um, give me an example of that very quickly here. You have a child who comes home and they have an A's, A's and a C. What do you focus on? focus on the seat, right, to get them better, to help them improve. Um, Don turned that theory on its head, and he felt like and began to, began to believe that by focusing on the area of the greatest talent, you would produce the best results and ultimately a more fulfilling life. Um, the strengths of the book are that it's very simple. It's, it's simplistic. It's very easy to read. The first time I read it, I read it in a day. It was a very quick read. Um, lots of um, theory, uh, good theory overview, many, many stories that made it interesting and you wanted to keep reading. It is research-based, um, so the um, research is cited at the end of the book, um, and there's lots of practical suggestions. Weaknesses are that um, even though it is research-based, the research is not detailed in the story, in the book. Um, and it doesn't go into identification of strengths. Some of their other books do that. Um, I included some facts, facts in your form that I won't go over now, but they're very interesting. The book is full of facts and statistics that are very compelling. And also the book includes a story of Tom's personal connection when diagnosed with a devastating illness that caused cancerous tumors to spontaneously appear in his body at any given time. And this theory helped give him strength throughout his life and still does today. And he talks about that more and how his family's buckets 